Hello and welcome to Straight Code Coding. Today I will show you how to create a self-signed certificate on a Windows server and convert it to base64 strength. Alright, so now this is a command to create a certificate and you specify that it's going to be on the local machine and this is the name of the certificate. So test self-signed certificate. So now it's created and installed on the local machine. So what we want to do is we want to add a password to it in order to export it, okay? So what we are doing is we are creating the password to it. All right, so, and this is the password that we want to add to the certificate in order for us to export it, okay? All right, so that's your password and in order for us to export the certificate we need to add the password so you specify the certificate which is here under your local machine now you need to also specify the thumbprint of the certificate and also indicate the location of where you want to export it to and the name of the exported file so in this case we want to say okay export it to the current um, folder and then call it self-signed test pfx and now you have to bind the password to it the password that we created earlier the previous command okay so now it's been exported to that current location the current directory and the name is self signed certificate so if you go into that directory it should be there we can do it here which is a list and is there or we can use the file explorer to see it okay so this is a file explorer and you can see that the self signed certificate test is there so what we are going to do next is we are going to use Visual Studio or C Sharp to convert this into base 64 okay so let's switch to Visual Studio alright so we are in Visual Studio and this is the only command that you need to convert your certificate into base 64 and what we are going to do we're just going to display it on the console okay so you pass the location of the certificate to this command base 64 and this is your base 64 certificate your certificate in base 64 now if you are supposed to add it to a config file you can easily copy it and paste it in your config file very simple thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel